Okay, we do our legs for our puppet here. The legs are basically nine inches by seven inches. Just be twisted around to make the leg, and they will fit right inside of these tubes. So I've marked out my nine by seven on my fleece. Sewed that up. Get these pins out here. And using my very good fleece scissors, which are only used on cloth. At the end here, there's my stitch with them just outside the stitch. Now you can hand stitch these. I use the machine. Cut these ends off. Save the ends, I can use these. Now we gotta cut down the length of this. Put these away so I don't absent mindedly use them on anything else. And do these edges. I can use Contact cement. I'm going to use my fast tack. It's a general rule, people would use their contact cement on these edges. But I want to show you that there are alternatives. You can do so much with fast tack where you don't need the contact cement. You can actually make an entire puppet with just spray glue without contact cement. And you can make the whole puppet of contact in that without the uh, fast tack. I'll fold that up. There's my edge, my long edge. Let that dry for just a moment while I get the other one ready. these edges together here. Let's see how these come together really nice. A little wet in the part. Gloves are sticking to everything. That's why I'm using the gloves. Not just my fingers on this. Got that coming together pretty good. There we go. Got that nice round leg. I'm going to do something else with this leg. I'm going to fold it, and there's my middle right there. There's my middle. Come down. A half inch up from there, 
Half inch down from the middle over here. And what this is going to do is give me a nice flip floppy leg so the puppet can sit. And so I'm going to make that gap a little bit bigger. That way, when he would rather sit or stand. He won't stand on his own, but that's a puppet when they're using him. So I've got that little nip in there. That's going to allow me to do that for him. My other piece here, my other leg. Let's get this glued together. I'm not, maybe a little too much spray glue on this one. It's very wet. But it's still sticky. Still coming together here. Yeah, it's just a little wet. Just a little blow. Or all it needs. gloves are all glued up. They're sticking to the phone. Okay. Get this edge here. Big knee here. Now, take my leg sleeves, turn them right side out. It doesn't, I'm putting pants on the puppet, so it doesn't matter, but just the same, I'm still putting the seam at the back. Maybe he wants to go to the beach and wear a swimsuit. He, he definitely would want his seam at the back. And roll that back again. So, let me get this started. Pull this right up to the top here. Pull this sleeve right on down. Got my nice little floppy leg. Time to do the other one. Don't set your leg in the glue. Alright, nice little this long fleece. I got some glue there. After this dries, I'll be able to take my scissors and nip that off. And I got all this nap. So it's actually not going to hurt anything. I me, mean, I need to hold that up. That glue hidden. And here's my seam.
and work to the top. Get this all pulled in. Two legs. See, now, here I'm, I'm rolling up this bottom. So why is he doing that? Oh, I have a reason. Well, I want to put shoes on this fella. I have this nice pair of shoes. I managed to get these at a Goodwill for a buck a pair. Usually you pay three, four, or five bucks a pair at Goodwill. But they had these cheap and nice, nice shoe. These are the expensive part, one well, of the expensive parts of the puppet. Turn the fleece. What I'm going to do, I got this one inch foam. I don't even need to have the whole shoe. I'm going to trace. That'll give me a basic foot that'll fit inside that shoe. It's really all you need. These are, these are slide right in there. Just like that. Just up. I slide right in there. All I'm looking for is something to shove in that shoe. And we'll get our contacts in it for this. Here. And the other one. I'm going to do the bottom of the foot here. Just a little dab, just a little dab of do you, a little dab of do you, a little dab of do you. Don't need a lot. A little dab of do you. Right here in the shoe. Throw that away now. I like using this little bitty uh, chicken bouillon jar. Bouillon cubes come in this. Perfect for the glue for me. I got a little heater here. I'm going to turn this off before I turn on that hair dryer. It blows the fuse, the breaker, and the power strip. And there we go. <coughs> got my little hair dryer out here. I'm going, 
all three were grinding the glue. I'm going off screen so I don't blow across the table, but you guys just grind the pants up from there. I'll do the same with the ends of the Take my foot, right here on the end, and it sticks right on there, and that's about the ugliest thing you're going to see. Now it is possible, I do actually have a foot pad, I've never made a barefoot foot. You could make the barefoot foot out of fleece, you could do it with the foam like you do the hands, or you could also just stuff it with batting. If you want a barefoot, draw your foot out with the toes. But for inside the shoe, that's all you need. That's all I'm going to do now. Is just cram that baby in there. And I got a foot. And if you want to put a sock on, you can certainly put a sock on. There's my foot. Hold the shoe on, that's all I need to do. Once I lace it up, it'll be nice and tight. And it comes right back out, no problem. So. The feet are not a major deal with this puppet. The important thing is to make the bend of the knee right. Have the bend of the knee correct on this one. Okay, his, his knee bend is correct. His knee bend's correct. Make sure the knee bend's correct. Other than that, I'll just stick that right on there. Contact cement will grab. Contact cement hold. And I got another simple foot that really destroys the magic. You think, whoa, look at all those hands, look at all that work on the face, and then the feet. Just a, just a little piece of foam, one inch foam, is stick inside a shoe. I got the legs up here. These need to go on the bottom of our little buddy. Just sew this top shut and sew that on there. And he'll have legs. And put his pants on. But I'll, I'll put this on with a little bit. I'll, I'll sew this shut and sew it on here. Put a little bit of glue. And it'll be a done deal. And he'll have his legs. Get those legs on. All that's left on my foot, my good friend here. I still gotta sew his arms on. Got them glued on. Got his arms glued good. I still gotta sew them. All I gotta do now is he's gonna need some eyebrows. He's gonna need some hair, tongue, and some teeth. Here we good to go. He's getting there. 